I just want to know why you didn't pay them. I didn't have the money. Her ex-husband is costing her a fortune. How much were the tolls that he racked up? Total of $4,601. Will their kids be even worse off? How much child support does he pay? He's actually over $3,000 in arrears because he's not paying. He works for the city of New York. You know how fast they're going to garnish his wages? Judge Judy. Ms. Kissick, this is your former husband. You were divorced when? June 29th. Of this year? Yes, ma'am. And were you represented by counsel? No, I wasn't. And you were not represented by counsel? No, ma'am. So it was a do-it-yourself. You have how many children? Two children together. How old are they? 15 and 6. It is your claim that subsequent to the divorce, Mr. Kissick racked up toll fines on a car that's in your name? Yes. Did you do that? I did go through the tolls, yes, ma'am. You did go through the tolls. And were they tolls where they just take pictures of your car? Yes, it is. And you didn't have any money deposited with New York or Connecticut in order to pay for those tolls, which I, is where you're from? I did. But due to unforeseen circumstances, my ATM credit debit cards were stolen. What does that have to do with her? This is just a reason as to why I wasn't able to pay the tolls when they came up. Don't buy it. They were stolen when? Uh, I wasn't exactly sure of the dates that they give were me, stolen. Give me an approximate. A couple of weeks prior. Okay. A couple of weeks prior to what? Um, a couple of weeks. They were stolen a couple... I'm sorry about that. I'm very nervous. A couple of weeks prior to her telling me of the tolls, of the uh, payments, that my, uh, the payments weren't going through an easy pass. I just want to know why you didn't pay them. I didn't have the money. Did you have the money to eat? No, ma'am, I didn't. So you were starving for how many days? No, actually, I was borrowing money from my daughter. Who was putting gas in your car? My daughter. How old is your daughter? 28. Do you live with her? No, ma'am. Who did you live with? We lived in a household together. After the divorce? I live in a household by myself. House runs on electricity, runs on stuff. How are you paying the bills? With extreme difficulty, with help from the my... The same difficulty that you would have had if you paid the tolls. How much were the tolls that he racked up? Total of $4,601. I'd like to see them. And that's since June 29th of this year? Yes, ma'am. Well, the first one is June 15th. That's not June 29th. Yes. You were divorced June 29th? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. We were divorced July 2nd. Well, so far, it doesn't make any difference because all of these tolls were before the divorce. We had signed the paperwork on the 29th. We come to the agreement, and then we went back on that in July to actually sign the agreement. Well, then you shouldn't have signed the agreement if you had these outstanding toll bills. When we were in court, he admitted that he was driving through the toll, and the judge told him to pay them. So I didn't think it would be an issue. Oh, well, uh, then I can't help you. You don't get two bites of the apple. It's not in the agreement. It's I just don't he... care whether it's in the agreement. What the law says is any debts that have accrued prior to the marriage have to be determined during the course of a divorce. It is. It says that he yeah. will take all of his debts and I will but take mine. I'm going to explain it to you again. If mm -hmm. any of these tickets accrued prior to your divorce, their marital debt, I'm not taking care of that. You have to go back to the Supreme Court that granted you the divorce and say there's a mistake. Okay. It's not for me to clean up your mess. Mm. If you had notice of this marital debt, it should have been taken care of in the judgment of divorce, specifically. And if not, then you get a judgment. If the judge specifically says, now you have $4,601.50 worth of marital debt, and I'm giving you a judgment for that, then you would attach his property, you would attach his salary, you would attach his income tax returns, you would attach those things, but you don't come to small claims court after you've done an uncontested divorce. That's not the way it works. Okay. And you know that. Were any of these bills prior to... Yes, you have some that were prior to. You have some that are in August. Yes. Why is he still driving this car? The car is in the divorce decree. He got that car because that was his car. It's just registered and insured in my name. But we agreed that I would keep the car registered and insured so that he didn't have to change his license over to Connecticut. Fine. That was a very bad idea.